Hello and welcome to this overview of Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. In this tutorial I'll be going through the process of creating a simple slideshow with text and images, applying the animations, applying formatting and completing the presentation. So let's get started. When you first open PowerPoint 2010 you'll be presented with this screen here and on the left hand side of the screen you'll see where your slides appear in thumbnail form and on the right side there's the main screen with the slide for you to create your content. And PowerPoint has helpfully put on a title slide for us to begin so I'll make use of that and just click where it says click to add title and I will put the title of my presentation on which is the sweet store and it'll be a promotional presentation for the particular business and I have the option of adding a subtitle to the main title and I'll do that. I'll click where it says click to add subtitle and I'm going to type in tasty products at great prices. Now if ever you make a spelling mistake as I've done there, easy to do, you just use standard editing keys on the keyboard. I just use the back delete key there and you can correct your error. So there we are, that's my text entered for the first slide. I can click away to deselect all the boxes and that shows me how it will more or less appear on the screen and I'm simply going to add now a new slide so just come up to where it says new slide click that option and we get a new slide template so I'll click where it says click to add title and we're going to type in the title of my second slide which is awesome donuts I'll even put an exclamation mark on the end of that and I'm going to add some text now to the body of the slide so click in the second text box where it says click to add text and we're going to put in some information about the donuts say they're freshly made that we have five varieties and what I'm going to do here is when I press the enter key you see the bullet points appearing as I press the enter key this time I'm going to tab one time to create a second level and I'm going to put my five varieties on this second level. So a plain chocolate, custard, jam and finally banana. I've never had a banana donut but I'm sure they're tasty. Now when I press the enter key it stays at the second level and what I can do now is a keyboard shortcut shift and tab and that will take me back to the top level bullet and I can carry on now with my next feature five donuts per box very generous again press the enter key and finally one more line giving the customer some control now, I've made a mistake there so just use the arrow keys to come to that word delete the C put the X in there because it should have said choose your own mix of donuts. Now I could leave the spelling errors in there and just do a complete spell check at the end but I'll correct as I go for this one. So there's my second slide completed. I want a new one so again just click the new slide button and you can see how easy it is how it builds up. There's a new slide again it has the same template so I'll create the content for the third slide so just click again in the title area and add the title there click down in the second area where it says click to add text and we'll add the, the bullet points now homemade recipe four great oops, flavors and again for the third line I'm going to tab in to create a second level bullet point so let's add some flavors strawberry uh, what else should we add vanilla chocolate, I'll correct the errors in a second and finally mint. So now I'll correct my errors to again just use the arrow keys to come back to my strawberry error just wants to be R A W and chocolate and eyes that sneaked in there so we'll delete that. Let's press the end key, come to the end of the line and press enter and again I want to go to a top level bullet so shift and tab takes me back you can also promote and demote bullets on the toolbar. If I come up to the home toolbar and somewhere in the middle, you'll see there are two buttons in the paragraph section. One is to increase list level. So if I click on that, 
you'll see what happens as I click it it moves in and reverse it takes it back to the top level so I'll enter my final line on this one and we'll say by two get a third free there you go okay so there's slide number three another one to create so again just click on new slide and you can see in the thumbnail section on the left how the show is building up so we've now got the fourth slide to create and this one will be thirst quenching soda so there's my title for slide number four click below to enter the bullet points and here we'll have three great flavors now I've just forgot to put the capital G on there so again this is the arrow keys and just edit as I go press the enter key again the tab key just to bring it to a second level bullet and we will have again strawberry lemon and apple enter key again I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut shift and tab to go to the higher level we will say that our sodas contain natural ingredients and that they're available in small, medium and large bottles. There we are. So I'm going to add one more slide now and this will be my final slide. This will be the closing slide. Now here I'm actually going to modify this a bit because I don't want this template. So I'm going to come back to layout and I will choose the blank slide option. I do want to add text to the slide so I've got to click on the insert button and in the text section on the insert toolbar you'll see the text box simply click on that and click on the slide don't have to do anything special here apart from type my content so I'm simply going to type great offers in store oops then enter every day so there's the content and I could format it now but I'll leave it for now you can actually move this any way you want to by simply clicking and dragging on the edges of that box you can also rotate it you see there's a small green blob and I can click and drag and rotate that which maybe I will later on we'll see just for now we'll leave it as it is and there's my content now I can just quickly run through the presentation on the keyboard you have the page up and page down keys you can also have the arrow key so I'm going to use the page down key to move down through the presentation slide by slide just check the contents okay I can also use the up arrow key does the same thing up and down arrow keys so you can use up and down arrow keys page up page down just to scroll through your presentation and just check it's okay the next thing I'm going to do is format the presentation and there's many ways of applying formatting in PowerPoint and to go through them all would probably take hours which I'm sure you don't want to spend so I'm going to do it really quickly and apply one of PowerPoint's built-in designs so to do that go to the design tab and immediately you'll see this large section that has themes and if I just move my mouse across those themes what you'll see is that as I move to the more interesting ones the formatting changes to give me a quick preview of the colors and the textiles that are incorporated with that style or with that theme so you've got many more if I click on that little double arrow there at the end you'll see there's a huge range now the problem here of course is if I put the mouse over I can't really see the full preview but I get a rough idea and at any point I can simply click to select but I think what I'll do is I will select that third one on the top row we'll see how that looks so as soon as I click on that you'll see that PowerPoint applies that theme across all my slides and now if I scroll down through the presentation just using page down you will see how it looks now as it happens I don't really like that one so I'm going to change the theme so all I need to do is go back to that theme selection and this time I'm going to choose the one right at the bottom very simple blue and white theme and uh, let's scroll through that see how that looks not too bad that'll do for now so there's the theme applied which does most of my formatting for me and I'm going to do a bit more on this final slide I'm going to click actually on the edge of that box and the first thing I'll do is make the text a lot bigger if I come back to the home tab 
you'll see on the font section I've got font size and font type and I've got these handy buttons here to increase and decrease the font size I'm simply going to click the larger A to increase the font size and you see what happens if the text moves a bit too far over to one side you can simply drag it back by putting the mouse on the edge however what I like to do is position one side of the text box on the left side you can then put your mouse pointer on the right in the middle on the drag handle drag it all the way to the right and by doing that you can then center the text on the slide which makes it look a bit nicer I can maybe make it bold as well and a little bit bigger as well make it really stand out whoops a bit too far let's come back one and click away to see how it looks that's fine just reposition that that'll do for my final slide come back to the first slide and again here I can resize these if I want to within the theme so make my sweet store much bigger same again for the second box and so on and so forth so I'll leave the other slides for now that's okay and one thing we do need to add is some images I'll leave slide one as it is slide number two we need some donuts on there so I'm going to go to the insert tab I'm going to choose clip art when you do use clip art make sure that you have all media types selected you can get rid of video and audio if you want to but I always leave it as all media types and we're going to search for donuts so let's see what we have again I also include online content so I get the latest clip out and here's a selection of donut graphics I can choose and let's find something suitable I think I'll just go for that box there there's a few ways I can apply it if I simply click on the clip art it transfers the artwork to my slide uh, let's just reposition that down the bottom right there that's fine nothing too fancy so next slide I'd like an image for that as well and this time we're looking for ice cream just hit the enter key uh, there's a suitable ice cream image again just click on that and it will transfer that to my slide that's obviously coming from the website that's quite large so I'm going to shrink that down again just click on the top right drag handle there reduce the size of the image so it's suitable for my slide just position it over to the right there and let's come down to the next slide and here we want some soda so again just type in soda hit the enter key let's just scroll down through these images see if we can find something suitable there's a nice one just click on that again it transfers from the online server to my local slideshow and just resize that again click top right drag position over in the bottom right that will do nicely and on the final slide uh, I will just leave that again without an image so scroll right back to the top of the show just use the page down key and you can now see those slides with the images I'm not trying to win any design awards here just giving you an idea of how you can put your show together so that's fine I can close down my clip art window now and the next thing I'd like to do is add some animations to my presentation so I'm going to come to slide number two and what I'm going to do here is simply click on the edge of that slide go to the animations tab and choose the fly in option and you'll see straight away what happens when I put the mouse over you can also have float in if you would rather have that which actually that looks quite nice I'll go for float in so I'm going to select that and you'll see what happens when the slide runs and I'll go and apply the same animation to the next slide so again just click on the edge of that text box choose float in and we'll do the same thing to slide number four again just click on the edge of the text box so all the content is included choose float in again and there we are that'll do I think so let's go back to the beginning and run that show you can actually run the show from the beginning using a keyboard shortcut and here I'm going to press the F5 key to run the show and we'll see it with the animations 
So here we are in the presentation and to navigate through there's a variety of ways you can do that. You can use the arrow keys on the keyboard so you can use the down arrow key and to return you can use the up arrow key. You can also use the right arrow key to go forward and the left arrow key to go back. You can use page down to go forward, page up to go back and you can also use a space bar to navigate through the presentation like so. With the mouse you can use the left button to go forward and if you use the right button you get a shortcut menu and you have a variety of navigation options one of which is previous and you can also choose next. Now you wouldn't normally do that because it would bring up a menu on the screen and that would obviously distract your viewers so it'd be far better just using the left button to go forward and use one of the keyboard shortcuts say the up arrow to go backwards. Now then you can also use the home key so if you've been experimenting as I've been doing there the home key will take you back to the beginning of the presentation and I'll simply use the page down key just to go through the entire presentation so you can see the result. And there are the animations working as they should do and obviously you're in control of the presentation by having these bullet points come in one by one rather than have them all on the screen at the same time. So there we are, just slowly work through to the end and there's the final slide. Once the presentation is complete simply press the escape key and that will take you back into PowerPoint editing mode. So there we are, that's the process of creating a simple PowerPoint slideshow, entering the text, applying formatting, applying animations and running the show. And finally I'm going to save the presentation, just press the F12 key and you can see it automatically puts the name which it takes from a title slide which is fine, the sweet store. I'll simply click on save and that is now saved away, ready for me to modify at some future point. So I hope you found that overview helpful. In future tutorials I'll be going through the various aspects of PowerPoint in much more detail and help you to create some professional and engaging presentations I hope. So thank you very much for watching this and I will see you next time.